One year after Olivia Newton-John's death, her daughter, Chloe Latanzi, 37, and husband, John Easterling, 71, are sharing how the magic singer has appeared to them in supernatural ways. Two weeks after she passed, my phone accidentally took a picture of my dog, and there floating by his head was a little blue orb, the same color as this, Latanzi told people in an interview this week, as she touched an aquamarine-colored necklace that once belonged to her mom. Mom and I had talked years back, she continued. We'd watch these paranormal shows, and I'd say, you gotta show up for me. And she was like, I'll show up as one of those orb things. The legendary Grease star died on August 8, 2022, at the age of 73, following a long battle with breast cancer. Easterling, who married Newton John in Peru in 2008, also shared a supernatural encounter with people. Two months ago, he visited Peru to commemorate what would have been their 15th wedding anniversary. I took a picture, and this blue orb is right between my eyes, Easterling said. It's been a supernatural year. Newton John was initially diagnosed with breast cancer in 1992. She put a large amount of her own fortune into the Olivia Newton John Foundation Fund, which is devoted to sponsoring global research into plant medicine for cancer. The hopelessly devoted to you songstress had been vocal about her use of cannabis oil to treat her symptoms. In October, her widower and daughter will lead the annual Olivia's Walk for Wellness in Melbourne, Australia, to raise money for her foundation. It's an honor, Latanzi told people. I know it's going to be really hard emotionally, but I'm excited to do this for her. Easterling agrees. I have to stop and just be grateful, he told the outlet. She wants us to live life and love life and never lose sight of the good things. In February, Latanzi paid tribute to her mother at a state memorial service in Melbourne. My heart is broken in two. The other half is with my mama. I know she's holding it for me until we meet again, Latanzi said at the time. I stand here before you so desperately, wanting to feel strong and confident and speak eloquently. But the truth is, I feel like a little girl lost without her mother.